The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Glory and praise to Children, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus. The word Pentecost means 50th. We are on the 50th day of the great feast of Easter. Originally, the Jews also celebrated the 50th day. It was calculated from the Feast of Pascha celebration. After some time, they also had the Feast of the Harvest. Fifty days of harvest is over. Thanking the Lord for the deliverance, thanking the Lord for the providence, they all gathered, all the Jews, who were not so far away, were obliged by the law to come to Jerusalem to celebrate this great feast of Pentecost. In today's first reading, we hear how people from 16 nations and languages were gathered in Jerusalem for this feast. Mary, our beloved mother, the apostles, some other women were also united on that day in prayer. At that time, we hear that the Holy Spirit descended on the apostles and mother Mary. There was noise, strong wind. There was something to see. Tongues of fire descended on each of those present. What a marvel! They began to speak about the wonders of God. It was really astonishing, though there were people of many nations present, each of them could hear in their own language what was spoken. We read in the book of Genesis, people spoke one language. Because of their pride, God confused them. They could not understand their own language. They wanted to make a name for themselves and build a tower up to the skies. But they did not succeed in the project. But here, people of many languages understand their own language what was spoken by the Galilean apostles. That was the spirit. And it goes further, though we did not listen. Peter explains what has happened. 
courageously witnesses to the gospel proclaims the risen lord and people are touched and they all ask brothers what should we do then he says believe in the risen lord and 3000 people are converted that is the power of the spirit the risen lord appears in today's gospel and it is reported according to john that same day he communicated the holy spirit he said receive the holy spirit he breathed into them and then tells them receive the holy spirit and then he also says you also have the power to forgive it was amidst the closed doors that the listen lord communicated the holy spirit according to the gospel of john now in acts of the apostles they were free they were free to proclaim the lord they were free to witness to the lord see the transformation my dear brothers and sisters you and i have received the same holy spirit that baptized in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the gift of the holy spirit was poured into our hearts already during the time of baptism and in a special way during the sacrament of confirmation we all received the abundant gifts of the spirit sometimes we live as though we have not received the holy spirit that is the tragedy it seems an italian was traveling those days to united states of america they took with themselves some bread and butter for the journey after some time the bread became very hard the butter also was not palatable so the only son was going on weeping the parents who were very poor had some coins left and then sent him to the restaurant to have a good meal the boy had the meal and then came back weeping the parents were annoyed after all all the money we had we gave to you that you may have a good meal but then now you come back after eating a sumptuous meal weeping what happened to you then the boy said my dear parents you know one thing even every day lunch sumptuous lunch is included in the package we did not know it they could have eaten every day delicious meal but they did not know it my dear brothers and sisters that's what has happened to many of us we have received the spirit but we live as though we don't have the spirit we don't have the spirit we do not know our identity as people filled with the spirit that is really a tragedy when we receive the spirit my dear brothers and sisters what are the consequences first of all there must be a newness in our way of thinking speaking and living are you prepared for the newness my dear brothers and sisters some want to follow the trodden path only even though sometimes some children are very innovative very talented some of the parents do not allow them to indulge in this innovation everything that is new is not at all bad yet there is a newness the holy spirit renews the face of the earth yet there is a newness see the life of noah 
the Lord asked him to build a ship that he may save people may fall off him but he had to be different from the people who made fun of him look at moses he had to confront pharaoh i want to take my people to offer worship to the lord it was something different but the lord was with moses that's the way the lord will be with you my dear brothers and sisters when you are filled with the spirit and do something as commanded by the lord secondly the spirit brings harmony to our lives see how all the people a new people was created on that day of pentecost harmony if you have received the holy spirit live in harmony we had today second reading from the first letter to the corinthians 12th chapter st paul says we are all one body so many gifts even in the parish there is so many people gifted and we are very happy that so many and people come here to proclaim the gospel effectively people are filled with gift you can contribute to the church contribute to the parish lay leaders animators people who can decorate the church the holy spirit fills the church with so many gifts children so much talented able to do everything sometimes when we are gifted we tend to be aggressive we tend to be defensive there is possibility of lack of unity the holy spirit fills the gifts fills the church with gifts but these gifts are for the church in the church with the church that's why the lord when he communicated the holy spirit told them you should be forgiving we are told in today's gospel the lord showed his hands nailed the hands whoever is gifted my dear brothers and sisters must show that they are ready to suffer patiently that is the meaning of the lord showing his hands he shows his hands he shows where he was pierced he shows his heart and then only he says receive the holy spirit for you this is how this needs to be interpreted if you are gifted you should be ready to suffer you should accept other people who are gifted are you ready to be patient with the gifts of others so much of ego in some of our people you know on parish the parish councillors were so disappointed after the easter celebration you know why because the parish is had some problem with the parish council members all the youth collaborated with the parish priests and had the easter week celebrations in a grand scale what even without us the parish can go along very well they could not digest the fact that even without the parish councillors there can be meaningful celebration celebration of the peace and so on. so much of filled with ego i should do it i should come forward should we not have the attitude of jesus as long as the work is done i am happy harmony peace this is the invitation that the holy spirit gives to us and then finally my dear brothers the holy spirit calls us for a mission mission the apostles were sent each one of us is sent here every day to our respective homes with a mission we read in the book in the letter to the galatians 
the various gifts of the Holy Spirit. Love, kindness, gentleness, self-control, peace, joy. This is our mission. This is our mission. You are sent out with the mission. See the transformation that was there in the disciples after receiving the Holy Spirit. Peter, who challenged that even if all the apostles go away, I will not desert you, was afraid of your servant will. He denied Jesus, I don't know, I don't know him, I don't know him. He began to swear also, such a person, we have to obey God first, not human beings. We cannot but talk what we have seen and heard. How? This is the transformation, my dear brothers and sisters. On this day, we should pray, Lord, as the beginning prayer, we heard, fill us once again with the Holy Spirit. Someone said, we don't need more of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit needs more of us. Be generous. Give yourself totally to the Lord. He will guide you. We cannot pray if we don't have the Spirit. Nobody can declare Jesus as the Lord. Today's second reading said, unless we have the Spirit. May we all be filled with the Spirit and know our identity as the people of God. And know that we are called to be in harmony with a specific mission of renewing our families and the world. Amen.